Hi, how you doing? This is Troy Jacobson, and this is my training diary. It's been a while since I checked in, and I thought I'd uh, give you an update here as to what's going on and everything. So, um, really quick, it won't be very long. Um, getting ready for that 24-hour mountain bike race in New Mexico. It is the 24 hours of the Enchanted Forest in Gallup. It's at about 7,500, 8,000 feet above sea level and I'll be riding it um, solo single speed. That's the division I entered again. So that's the big event coming up in about two and a half weeks or so. And, um, you know, I'm excited for it and a little bit nervous, I must say, and just um, going through the process of doing everything I can to get ready for it without overtraining or losing my enjoyment for the training. And that's something I gotta admit, I've been having a challenge with um, getting out on the road, putting in the miles. I, and I have to be honest, I haven't put in a ton of miles. Um, and it's because motivation, being busy with work, and also the heat. <laughs> I mean, this, I know June apparently was the, one of the worst years in history with regard to heat here in Arizona. And it's just been hot, hot, hot. And not that that should be much of a factor because you can always go out early in the morning and that's sometimes what I do. But oftentimes my, my time for training is in the afternoon. And let me tell you, you go out and it's 107 or 108 degrees out and you go ride for an hour and a half, it is just a different level of ridiculousness. <laughs> I mean, everything is just the sweat rate, heart rate, everything is just up. So I've been doing a lot of my training on my stages and I really don't enjoy riding indoors, <laughs> believe it or not. Even though I made my career coaching people to ride indoors, um, I used to put in lots of four, four hour rides when I was much, much younger. And maybe that burnt me out, I don't know. But lots of four hour indoor rides, that is. But in any event, um, I uh, have been putting in basically a few days a week really short rides, but really high quality rides. And I'm curious to know how this is gonna pan out for me with the 24 hours. Uh, I feel pretty fit, you know, I, because I've been putting in the high heart rate work, high power work, but for short intervals. And you know, that interval training is really good for you ultimately. And I also feel like without overdoing the volume, I've been able to maintain more mass, more muscle mass. I've been, you know, strength training in addition. But as we all know, if you do extreme endurance training, it has a negative impact on your hormonal balance, um, your endocrine system, your immune system. You know, there's a lot to it when you put it in super high volume. So I, I am on the other side of that scale in terms of low volume, but feeling stronger, I hopefully as a result, I think I am, as a result of not crushing myself with the high volume. We'll see how it pans out. I might be totally fooling myself and. Um, I might go into the race and just recognize immediately that I just don't have the, the miles and the legs to give it justice, but 24 hour racing is strategic anyway. So I'm still trying to get my head around the right strategy that I'll deploy. Uh, as I keep doing these, you know, I've done a bunch now. Um, hopefully I get smarter and wiser with each one, but that remains to be seen. When it's two o'clock in the morning and you're tired and hungry and you're everything's just kind of falling apart on you all bets are off that's kind of my experience but we'll see what happens um and i'll certainly give you some more updates so training's going okay uh nutrition i'm uh, actually cutting out trying to just lose a pound or two before the event so cutting out rice bread and beer i haven't had a beer for a while and it kind of makes a difference when you cut that stuff out but uh, still doing a little bit of the intermittent fasting, not so much, to go more with the protein-based diet right now, which uh, keeps me satiated and I think keeps the muscle mass up. So that's been going pretty well. Strength training, like I said, is going okay twice a week, no, nothing over or extreme, just, but main, maintaining strength fairly easily. That's the cool thing about it. If Once you get a base of anything, you can maintain that for a long time without crushing yourself. Um, and I'm, I'm finding more enjoyment in not crushing myself. Those sprint workouts I do on the bike, I kind of crush myself, um, I will admit. And my heart rate's elevated for a long time after. But, uh, you know, I feel like it's essential with such low volume to be pushing the envelope a little bit in those rides. 
anyway, that's my story. Um, really quick, I also want to remind you that we have our training camp next March. So come on, check it out. Come on out to Tucson, check it out. Absolutely wonderful camp. And there's still some spots open if you'd like to sign up. Uh, TucsonTriCamp.com. And also, if you are interested in engaging in some coaching, reach out to me because uh, I enjoy coaching people. Um, have a few clients that I work with all the time, and you know, I just like to maintain that uh, foothold in the endurance space. Uh, as many as many of you know, I now do executive and business coaching primarily, but I always like to work with athletes and help them achieve their goals as well. Check out endurancecoachtroy.com for that info. All right, that's all I have. Take care.